back is the challenge this week be to make sure you get the right reaction to what was a very good performance last week so that the players are sort of taking the positives from that rather than sort of dwelling on the negatives? Yeah, well, the, the only negative to come out of it was the result. The performance was, uh, was terrific. Um, but you don't always get what you uh, what you play for in the in the Premier League. But yeah, we've been uh, we've been working. You know, we've had a few down days as well, so we've given them a little bit of a rest, get them around the families because we know we have a busy period coming up. But from last week, we've just got to look forward to the next game because we couldn't do much more than what we did uh, without getting a result. You bottom of the table, but not cut adrift so have you set yourself a, a target a points target over the Christmas programme? Well, our targets are to win football matches um, setting points can be can be one thing but they can be uh, the worst thing you can do because when you start to, to look at the points you set and you don't reach them then the pressure mounts and mounts and mounts but if we can look at it as, a, as another game uh, we're in decent form and if we can be competitive in that next game, then we can get some points. Coming up against Pep on Boxing Day, how much on a personal level do you relish that challenge? Well, the challenge is great. The challenge is good in any Premier League game. Um, you know, you're coming up against one of the best and also one of the best teams in the division. So, yeah, we know, we know what our job's going to be and we know what a hard job it's going to be. But I think for... This occasion, we possibly have a, a full house, which is nice. You know, no empty seats, everybody behind the two teams. Um, and hopefully we can put on the performance that they've, they're waiting for. Does the way they play give you a chance? The way they play is, is the way they play. You know, it's, um, they are open, expansive. They are trying different things under a manager that is willing to, uh, to take risks. So we, uh, all we can do is, is go about our business our way, play against the system that Manchester City put in front of us, quality players, but hopefully, you know, with our organisation and, and our, our past performances, we can be uh, a challenge. Can you bring us up to date with the, the latest on Robert Snodgrass and his future, his contract situation? Has he been offered a deal... Has he turned it down? Is there a possibility he could be sold in January? Well, what we've done with not just Robert, with a few of the players here, we've exercised the options that are in their, in their contracts. Um, we are ongoing in negotiations with those players and at this present moment in time, all those players are registered at this football club. Um, that we hope to change. You know, We hope to get them on the deals that they, that they deserve and we keep working on it. Michael Dawson's told us this morning that he's yet to be offered a new deal. Is that a concern? No, it's not a concern. We have spoken to all the players. Uh, obviously, some are forthcoming with their deals, but we've just sounded them out and had a chat with them as to what their positions are at the moment. And they've all been pretty happy with, with those conversations. That's my understanding. Um, obviously, I've, I've read things lately about certain individuals but we will take care of those matters. You know, we'll have discussions, we'll have face-to-face -face talks. But at this moment in time, they're all prepared to play uh, and contribute to the rest of this season. What do you make of the situation at the bottom of the table, given what's happened this week at Crystal Palace, Alan Pardew going? Does that maybe change the dynamic down there with the possibility of, of Sam Allardyce coming in? Well, I think there's a group of, of teams that are, <laughs> are sort of in and around that that area of, of relegation or possible relegation. I think things will change over Christmas, you know, with the fixtures and the way the fixtures are coming. Some teams are playing each other, other teams are playing, you know, bottom and top. So things will, will develop and probably be a little bit more clearer come come January, come middle of January. Uh, we know that we've got some fantastic games ahead of us, all against, you know, the top top end teams. So there's the challenge in itself for us. You know, we we know what we have to do. We know what it takes, and we are, like I say, apart from the result, we are playing reasonably well. If we can maintain that form and get better in front of goal, then I think we can gain some points. You talked previously about putting plans in place for the transfer window. Are you ready to go as soon as it tips over into <laughs> to New Year's Day? Because you do need to get bodies in quickly. Yeah, we well, 
We have the month of January, don't forget it goes from you know the beginning to the end, but we do want to try and do some business quicker. Um, we are monitoring things, we are looking at possibilities, but nothing at the moment is, is certain. So I still have to do my job and, and still have to prepare a football team to play over this period, but I also have to uh, have these conversations with the owners to see what direction they want to take this football club in. Mike, so you've exercised the contract option with Robert Snodgrass and others. Which others have you done that with? Well, we've got quite a few. We've got four or five. Um, Harry Maguire, Jake Livermore, Robertson, Hernandez, Dawson, and Tymon is obviously one that's been ongoing. So we've 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 taken care of all those issues. Uh, it will be possibly a, a slow process, but they are on contract, so uh, so we can uh, we can get down to the business possibly after Christmas. Do you expect any of those then to commit to the long term future? I'd like to think all of them will commit. Um, I don't see why not. Uh, obviously, you know, some are gaining momentum and, get, and gaining attention from, from elsewhere purely because of their individual performances. That's non normal in, in football. But at this moment in time, you know, they are with us and, uh, and hopefully we can keep them. Gaining attention then, has, has anybody been approached in terms of coming through you or the club? No, we can we can speculate a little bit, but we know that you know when you're performing well and you're performing well as an individual, <coughs> then you will gain attention. You're in the Premier League; people are watching. So, uh, so we're we're well aware of of that, but we have to do our business first, which is to try and keep these players at this football club and add to that. Hey, Bell, is he going to be fit for Boxing Day? No, he's a couple of weeks away yet. What's the interest situation generally, Mike? Um. Alan McGregor is back in training. Um, he still can't play centre forward, but he's back in training. Uh, and the rest of the same. Odi Bejo obviously, and and he's he's out for the season. Keane out for the season. And Bruce is now outdoor, making progress outdoors. So he may be a couple of weeks away or three weeks away. Uh, Lenahan is still uh, under the supervision of the medical staff. Uh, Ryan Mason is back in training. So. Everything's good and bad. I think Ryan will be fit for boxing there. Yeah. And Josh okay over his... Josh is fine again, yeah. He's recovered from his illness and uh, will train the next couple of days. How much are you looking forward to this game? I know you sort of touched upon it with Tim, but just sort of expand a bit on that. I'm looking f I look forward to all the games. This one is a nice game. It's, it's a big game because it's a big team, a big club coming to, uh, to the KCOM. Um, I think... You know, we look forward to it. The challenge is is terrific. You know, we've got a great Christmas period. There's no point in looking at it with, uh, you know, with question marks. I think we have to be positive. We have to uh, accept the challenge that's in front of us. We know it's difficult. Everything's difficult. But I think, you know, in our present form, our mood, if our attitude is right and our determination is good, we can make sure we give any team, you know, that comes to, to our home stadium and away a game. How good do you feel they are? They are. I think they're an excellent team. You know, I think uh, the Premier League um, is a is a difficult league. It's a high pressure league, but I think they're an exceptional team with exceptional individuals. I think at times you have your ups and downs at any football club, and I think they've come under the spotlight recently for certain systems or the way they've played or whether the manager should change things and do things. I think that's normal, you know, that happens all the time, whether you're Pep or you're myself. So you take on these these issues and these challenges, but they are a, a fine football team. I've seen them a lot, uh, and, and individually they're very good. Can you be as ambitious as you've been recently in games against them? Well, I don't see why not. You know, we have to... We have to approach the game in the same way as we've approached probably the last half a dozen games. And we've been very committed, we've been very proactive. I think at times there's going to be in a game where you're under severe pressure and you know it doesn't go the way you want it to go. But I think on, in general, we've participated in most of the games this season. And um, we haven't just got our, our deserves in certain games. Uh, hopefully, over the Christmas period, we get some results. We understand you've been kind to the players you've given them Christmas Day off. Yeah, 
Yeah, why not? <laughs> um, sometimes in the past they've been in on Christmas Day morning, but usually it's for half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever, just to, to clear the cobwebs out from the night before. But I think these days a lot of football players now celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, really, rather than, than Christmas Day itself. So it's a little bit of a, a chill-out time come in. We have the added fact that it's a later kick-off anyway on Boxing Day. So we'll get them in early on Boxing Day and uh, and look forward to the game. And how will Christmas be for you now that you're in charge? Christmas will be the norm. I'll uh, get up, see what's coming my way as far as presents, if any. Open them, have something to eat, fall asleep, <laughs> watch a bit of telly and then look forward to the game. That's usually what Christmas Day is for me. So uh, it's it's a family day and you get everybody around, do what you have to do, play those silly games now and again that you don't really want to play but you have to participate in. Um, <coughs> but luckily we're at home, so it's not really a, a, an overnight stay, Christmas Day evening. So, uh, no, we'll be ready, we'll be prepared. Mike, can I just ask you to, to start how important Snodgrass is to your fans this season? The t- the type well, Robert's, Robert's in the same vein as he's always been. You know, he's willing, he's capable, he's, he's performed very, very well, considering, you know, at one point his career was sort of on the, on the back burner, really. You know, he had an injury which, which questioned Mark whether he would, he would recover. <laughs> he has done. He's come into the team and he's performed well, individually and collectively. He's done really well, so he's a plus and he's an asset. So I think any football club should be looking to keep their assets, and uh, he's just one of them. You know, he's 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 an important cog in the system. He's scored goals. He's played in a couple of positions now and he's enjoying it. So, you know, from now to the end of the season, I think it's important he continues in that vein. When you look at City's bench last weekend. I think John Stones was on the bench. Just, the riches is uh, it's a different world, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same division, but a totally different uh, a different sort of match-up as far as what Manchester City are and what Hull are. Um, but that's the nature of the, the division. It's the nature of the game. You know, There's always the big boys and the not-so-big boys. But I think if it comes to a competition and it's competitive on a, a one-off basis, then, then you, can, you can upset that that sort of pattern, you know, the big and the little. Uh, we're, in that, we're in that frame of mind now where everything has to be fought for, everything has to be earned. Um, I don't want to be a football team that's playing well every week and getting beat. I want a football team that wins games and knows how to win games. And in the main, you know, it's a fact that you have to score goals to win football matches. If you don't do that, then there's a chance you concede. And certainly against the big teams, they will punish you far greater than the, the ones down at the bottom. You say it excites you, the City Challenge. Does it excite the players as well? Yeah, of course. It should do. You know, I've spoke about this before. It's hard to earn yourself a chance to be in the Premier League. It really is hard. When you get there, you want to enjoy the moment. You want to enjoy every game. Every game is very competitive. It's high quality. Uh, the attention to detail is far greater. But I think all these players accept those responsibilities. There's not a shortage of that at this football club. They all understand their roles. They all understand that they want to be a Premier League footballer. What you have to do to maintain that status is work hard, listen, learn, improve, all those things. And it's better to do that against the big boys because you do that against the big boys, you get a lot of praise.